I've been testing AI comic creation tools for a while now, and I've discovered a tool that's completely changing the game. Most people waste hours trying to create consistent characters through trial and error. But today, I'm gonna to save you all that trouble. But first, let me show you what's possible with this technology. Look at this comic I created. Pretty incredible, right? And the best part is that I made this in less than a day with just a simple process that anyone can follow. The story I created follows two characters. Nova, a space explorer stranded on a mysterious planet, and Kiro, a native alien guide with knowledge of ancient technology. Throughout the comic, they journey across dangerous terrain to find a way to repair Nova's ship and get her back home. I'll show you exactly how I created consistent illustrations of these characters across multiple scenes, including different camera angles, various poses, and even interactions between them. Before we dive in, let me explain why creating consistent characters with AI has been so challenging until now. When you try to generate the same character multiple times with AI, the face changes completely, the hairstyle transforms, the clothing style shifts dramatically, and even the body type morphs into something unrecognizable. It's like asking for the same person, but getting their distant relatives instead, which makes creating comics, storyboards, or any visual narrative nearly impossible. This inconsistency problem has been the biggest roadblock for creators trying to use AI for art. I've personally wasted hundreds of hours trying workarounds, like using image to image generation, with low denoising strength, carefully crafting identical prompts, or even attempting to train custom models, all with mediocre results. The breakthrough came when I discovered specialized character consistency technology that actually worked. After testing dozens of AI platforms, I found that OpenArt offers the most powerful solution for creating truly consistent characters. Their technology allows you to create a character once and then use it in unlimited scenes while maintaining perfect consistency. Let me walk you through the exact process I use to create professional quality AI comics with consistent characters. First, we need a story. For this tutorial, I've created a sci-fi adventure about Nova and Kiro. I use ChatGPT to help outline my story by asking it to create a narrative about a space explorer stranded on an alien planet who meets a native guide. ChatGPT gave me a complete script with dialogue and scene descriptions that I could use as the foundation for my comic. If you want to follow along, I've left a link for OpenR in the description below. First, I'll need to create basic concepts for my characters. I go to the Storytelling tab and click on Start with Description under the Consistent Characters section. This opens a prompt box where you can describe each character in detail. For Nova, I'll type something like a female astronaut with a sleek white and blue spacesuit, short blonde hair, and a determined expression. For Kiro, I'll write a humanoid alien with purple skin, bioluminescent markings, and tribal-style clothing made from local materials. Once the prompts are submitted, OpenArt will generate several variations for each character. You can browse through the options. I like this version the best, so I'll save this one. And that's all there is to it. No uploading tons of reference images or waiting for model training. OpenArt handles consistency for you right from the start. With Nova and Kiro ready to go, I'm all set to move on to building the scenes they'll live in. Now comes the fun part. Let's create our first comic panel where Nova crash lands on the alien planet. I'll select Nova from my character list and enter this prompt. Nova standing beside her crashed spaceship, smoke rising from the damaged engine, alien forest with strange glowing plants in the background, worried expression, comic book style. And now look at that. Nova looks exactly like our reference image, but now she's in a completely different scene. The facial features, hairstyle, and overall appearance remain consistent. For our second panel, I want Nova exploring the alien forest. So I'll use this prompt, Nova cautiously exploring alien forest, scanning environment with handheld device, strange glowing plants and floating rock formations, comic book style. Now that looks perfect. Nova remains consistent while the scene and pose have changed completely. Now what if you want your character in a very specific pose? Open art has you covered with their incredible pose editor. When you're in the character creation interface, you'll see an option called Pose Your Character, which opens a 3D model that you can manipulate to create any pose you want. For this panel, where Nova discovers ancient alien technology, I want a very specific crouching pose, so I'll select the pose editor and choose a base pose. Optionally, you can adjust the arms and body position exactly how you want. Once I've created a perfect pose, I'll click Update Pose and then generate my image with this prompt. Nova crouching to examine ancient alien technology embedded in stone, holographic symbols activating around her, alien forest background, comic book style. And the result is amazing. Nova is in exactly the pose I designed. 
while maintaining perfect consistency with her appearance. One of the most powerful features is the ability to create scenes with multiple consistent characters. Let's create a panel where Nova and Kiro meet for the first time. I'll select both of them from my character list and use this prompt. Nova and Kiro meeting for the first time in Alien Forest Clearing, Nova looking cautious, Kiro offering a glowing fruit, Crash spaceship visible in background, comic book style. Look at that. Both characters maintain their distinctive features and appearance while interacting naturally in the same scene. When writing your prompts, you need to be specific about the visual appearance of your characters to reduce inconsistencies. For example, in some generated images, Nova's spacesuit might appear with different details than in the original character illustration. This can be fixed by specifically adding to the prompt that she's wearing a white and blue spacesuit with the design elements you want to maintain. To keep the illustration styles consistent between the two characters, I included phrases like balanced lighting or neutral color palette in my prompts. I also created some establishing shots of the alien planet itself. For these, I simply entered prompts asking for comic book illustrations of alien landscapes with specific features like floating rock formations, bioluminescent plants or ancient ruins. If you find that your images need higher resolution for your comic, open art has an ultimate upscale feature. This allows you to enhance the details and sharpness of your illustrations without losing the character consistency you've worked so hard to maintain. There are actually three different upscaling options available. Precise upscale preserves as much of the original content as possible. Refined upscale adds some AI generated textures and details and Creative Upscale adds the most AI-generated details. I typically use Precise for character close-ups where I want to maintain exact facial features and Refine for wider shots where additional environmental detail enhances the scene. Before I begin assembling the comic strip, I'm going to generate more images related to our story, Echoes of Ephiris. The more scenes we have, the better we can convey the narrative of the comics. So far, I have created an image of Kiro and Nova walking through an otherworldly forest. And I also generated another image of Kiro sitting on the edge of a cliff admiring the horizon using the pose your character feature. Now the layout stage is where your comic really comes to life. To assemble everything together inside a comic strip, I'll start by creating a new design in Canva. Then I go to elements and look for frames. These are what we'll use to add illustrations. I typically use the basic rectangle frame, but you can experiment with different shapes if you want. Now that I've placed my frames, I'll drag each illustration onto its corresponding frame. Canva automatically crops the image to fit the frame, but you can double click to edit how the image fills the space. This gives you precise control over which part of your illustration is visible in each panel. For the text, I'll search for speech bubbles in the elements section, making sure I'm looking at the graphics. Canva offers dozens of different bubble styles, from classic rounded shapes to jagged edged exclamations for dramatic moments. I'll then add the dialogue from the storyline I generated with ChatGPT on each bubble. And that's about it. If you want to try open art yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure to use the code ROBOF20 for 20% off your first month or year. And by the way, if you want to learn the biggest mistakes people make when generating consistent characters, I've made a full video about it on my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.